downloaded. Target acquired. Activate. Sounds like BattleBots, but this is Smuggler's Run 2 Hostile Territory. It's made by the same studio who developed the Red Dead series, Midtown Madness, the Nintendo 64 port of Resident Evil 2, and of course, Test Drive Off-Road Wide Open. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! Ooh. This is the sequel to the 2000 game Smuggler's Run on the PS2. Like its prequel, you have to collect and deliver illegal contraband like groceries, nuclear stuff, and... you know, other miscellaneous crap. Sounds easy, right? Well, no, not really. You gotta deal with law enforcement, being careful of the package, enemy gangs, and a time limit. It plays similar to its predecessor, but it does have some improvements. First off, it has more vehicles to drive, like the ATV, Grenadier, and this Jeep. Second, each car has its own special ability, like speed boosts, oil slicks, smoke screens, and my personal favorite, dropping bombs. As a kid, I don't play Smuggler's Run 2 for the story, let alone the main campaign. Well, I had to because I needed to unlock the other shit. But the reason why I play the shit out of this game is because of one thing. Let's go to the Russian minefields and let's see how far we get launched. <laughs> My brother and I just do that shit all day and expect hilarious results. Sometimes, even glitches. I personally choose the either the Baja truck or the Grenadier because, well, it has bombs. So I go to some place where I could smash things, place a bomb right next to it, and BOOM! Ta -da! It's... It's gone. Because the bomb's explosive force is so powerful, they were launched out of existence. It's the quirky things that make the game fun. It also has multiplayer so you can free roam together or do turf wars. You're able to drive around in three different locations. Russia, Vietnam, in the winter version of Russia. If you played the first one, it's the similar format, but this time you can change the settings like the weather or traffic. But you have to unlock the extra two locales while you're going through the game's campaign mode. Originally, the game was going to set in Afghanistan, but then 9-11 happened. So the Afghanistan levels are relocated to the deserts of Mother Russia. Yeah, there's another fun fact for ya. Overall, this game had decent graphics, a kick-ass soundtrack, decent controls, and sometimes frustrating difficulty. It's one of those games I wanted in my little PlayStation 2 collection for the sake of nostalgia. So, Smuggler's Run 2. I recommend getting it. And this game also saw a console release on the GameCube, as Smuggler's Run War Zones. Yeah, it's a fun driving game but wouldn't call this a racing game by any standards according to Wikipedia. It's a driving game, plain and simple.